Hey there, YouTube. What's up? It is Melanie back with Melanie Loves Death Metal. Happy Friday. I've got my Mickey cup of coffee. It is Friday morning. It's early. I'm probably going to yawn in this video because I'm not awake yet. But it's release Friday and I wanted to do a really quick video today. Um, finally, probably... <laughs> I think I've made a video almost every single day this week, which I have not done since I've started this YouTube channel. So uh, just a lot of stuff I wanna talk about, but it's released Friday. And one thing that I wanted to call out is that 20 Bucks Spin just put up the pre-orders for the new Vastum album that's coming out in November. There's also a single on Bandcamp and, and then also on their YouTube page. It sounds fantastic. I am super pumped for this album. I also just got the promo sent to my email. So I'm gonna be listening to that today. Um, and then, I probably am not going to do a review for it on Heavy Metallurgy because uh, it'll be a very biased review because I absolutely love this band. Um, but I'm excited, super pumped about that. Uh, 20 Bucks Bands did say um, on their Twitter a couple months ago that they were going to be dead for like a month or so over the summer. And then in starting in September, they were going to just start pumping out things. So they announced the new Gravesend a couple of weeks ago. They've released Tomb Mold and now they're doing uh, Vastim. And I got a funny feeling that Worm is going to be coming out with something possibly by the end of the year. That's the other thing. Um, and then I think Witch Vomit, uh, maybe early next year. But yeah, 20 Bucks Spin is pumping out all the shit. But that's not why I wanted to make this video today. I wanted to talk about a video that, uh, talk about an album that came out today. Um, so it's officially out today, but it has been on Black Metal Promotion for the past 10 days, uh, which is a YouTube channel that I follow and, and love. I love a lot of the stuff they post on there. Helps me get exposed to new Black Metal music when I'm in the mood for it. Um, but this album came out today. Uh, it's their first full-length album. And yeah, I completely forgot this was coming out. It kind of fell off my radar, uh, but this is Moonlight Sorcery with uh, Horned Lord of the Throned Thorned Castle. Fucking hell. What? Horned Lord of the Throne Thorned Castle. I can't say that. That's a tongue twister. Nope. Can't do it. Nope. Um, but Finnish melodic black metal band. Um, they released two EPs last year called Piercing Through the Frozen Eternity. That's not hard to say. Uh, and then Nightwind the Conqueror from the Stars. Two phenomenal EPs. I became a fan of them after those were released. Um, and the one thing that I really, really like about this band that really stands out compared to other uh, melodic black metal, black metal bands, atmospheric black metal bands, is that they have guitar leads, like really strong guitar leads that are throughout the whole entire uh, music and every single song and just phenomenal guitar writing. And that just really stands out there for me as something that I really like about this band. Well, this is nothing short of that on this album. Um, so I've been listening to this digitally, like I said, you know, since Black Metal Promotion put it up on their YouTube. Um, and then I saw that 20 bucks spin got this on their distro and so I just snagged it from them because then I wouldn't have to wait for it to come and uh, shipped from Avant Garde who is overseas from here. Uh, but it is on Avant Garde, out on Avant Garde. Um, fantastic, I just, I'm gonna move this to the side. Fantastic um, craftsmanship, I guess you could say, quality uh, of vinyl here. So it's got the like, glossy super glossy gay fold and then like the foil stamping of the logo and then the name of the album and then across the back for the title the title tracks the tracks but inside is a book that is um attached inside the gay fold i don't know how you say that and just really really good quality pictures of the band <laughs> in all of their glory of their corpse paint and in their frosty uh, winter scenes. There are some, there are some, um, lyrics in here. They're a little bit hard to read. As you can see, it's in like golden black print, which makes it hard to read on the back of these images. Um, but yeah, just really nice quality book that you get inside the gatefold jacket. Um, of just the band. Nice promo photos. There you go. Um, which I really, really enjoyed. I didn't know it was like this. I had no idea. Like I said, I just ordered it off a of 20 bucks and I didn't look into full detail about like what was coming for the vinyl. Uh, but their other two vinyl releases that I also have, um, from the EPs are also really good quality. So yeah, Avant-Garde presses really nice vinyls. Um, so this is out. You can order this on Bandcamp and if 20 bucks spin still has them in stock, I would snag it there if you're in the U S because, uh, it'll get to you faster. Um, and yeah, so that's that and then whatever i don't know what color 
variant it's called. Um, I didn't care to look, but it's this purple and black merge, which goes really nicely with the the album cover. There was, I think, like two other variants too, uh, but yeah, this was the one. I just picked it because that's what 20 bucks Men had. I don't really care, but so the music. Uh, so yeah, it's much of what you've heard on the first two EPs if you're familiar with them. However, I think that they really honed in more on the power metal <laughs> of this album. Uh, power metal was definitely a sound in their last two EPs, but this is very prominent um, in regards to the guitars. Uh, not the vocals, not the vocals. So if that just turned you off, no, no, no. It is black metal vocals with melodic power metal guitar riffs. That's the best I can explain it. Um, and I've been listening to power metal lately. I've been diving into it kind of here and there. Not a lot because a lot of it I can't stand. It's just so cheesy. I can't do it. But there's a couple of things I've been listening to lately like Ed Guy. I got a couple of those albums. Yes, those are cheesy, but they're fun and a cheesy in a more tolerable way for me. Um, so I guess I'm just in the mood for this. Uh, but this album has a lot of that on here in terms of the, the guitar leads are just fast and epic in power metal uh one of my friends I, I sent this in our group chat and he mentioned it sounded like dragon force made love to children of bodom in the black metal style okay except i don't like dragon force so that kind of was like mm, pick a different power metal band please um but <laughs> i really really like this album it's a lot of fun it's got that frosty black metal feel to it. It's got that frosty atmospheric black metal feel to it as well as you see along with the images. Um, but it also has like that heavy melodic power metal uh, tone to it. And the guitars sound uh, definitely digital, like cause I'm sure they use a lot of plugins and stuff uh, through their amps and everything. Um, it doesn't bother me. Uh, I remember I did mention on the new Cryptopsy album that was something that kind of bothered me a little bit. For some reason, it just goes well here because, like, you know, again, it's got you kind of just expect that when it comes to uh, this kind of uh, metal that they've put onto this. Um, but it's a quick listen. It goes by really, really fast. Um, I was actually just trying to check. It's only a 45 minute L LP or 44 minutes, if you want to say. Uh, the final song is an eight minute banger. <laughs> As the kids say, it is a very good song. However, it just kind of ends. Uh, that's probably my own critique is like just the way it ends. It left me wanting for more and it makes me wonder if they're going to just release another new album like within another month or two because they are going to continue writing on. I'm not too sure. Uh, but everything is really great about it. There is an instrumental track that is awesome. It's called The Moonlight Dance of the Twisted Jester's Blood Soaked Rituals. My God, what is what a what a title! Um, and in those guitar parts and instrumental parts of this album, I definitely have a jazz vibe as well, um, which is weird uh, <laughs> considering like power metal, jazz, melodic black metal, like all in one album. It's just a subtle hint of it. I, I listen to a lot of, um, I guess you could say, smooth jazz. Uh, and I listen to a lot of obviously traditional jazz too, but like a lot of the modern jazz uh, that I do listen to is this type of guitar tone and and way of writing. Uh, so there's a lot of similarities that I'm hearing on there. Uh, if you're familiar with what I'm talking about with jazz, you'll, you'll hear exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but it is a really fun album and it's it's really good. I think as a debut album, it's it's solid, it's flawless. Uh, they They are continuing on. From where they left off with their two EPs, I was a little bit worried that I was going to be a little bit let down because sometimes when bands release like phenomenal EPs for a couple years in a row or just as they put out two last year, uh, then their debut is kind of just a letdown for some reason. Like their EPs end up being better. Um, this, I don't think so. It's definitely got a symphonic feel to it, but more of that melodic power metal, melodic power black metal. Um, but yeah. It is a very good album. I really enjoy it. I'm super pumped that I got it in the mail yesterday, uh, which was perfect timing because it came out today. Um, and I would say that from the get-go, it's it's completely just in your face fast as soon as the album starts. And some of my favorite songs are 
to withhold the day, which is the first track, the final track, sudden tie or sudden tie. I don't know. Woven hour part two is fen- phenomenal. The whole entire side A of this album is in, is really good. The whole entire album is really really good, um, but side B is really only um, it's uh it, it goes like it goes quick, I guess you could say because side B is well side B is two of the longer songs. I don't know, it's just a quick listen. It starts off with that that uh, instrumental track, and I think that that's why it kind of makes it feel quick because then it goes into the final three tracks. But anyway, I don't know what I was trying to say there. But it's a great album. Check it out. Uh, if you're if you're not into that super epic guitar noodling, um, similar to power metal, like I've said like a thousand times on this video, you're probably gonna hate this album. Um, if you're looking for a new black metal band to listen to that's a little bit more upbeat, less sinister, um, fun, uh, I mean, obviously they're still sinister, but has more of that, a little bit more of that upbeat along with the frosty sound, you'll like this album for sure. Uh, this is the type of black metal I really enjoy. Uh, I tend to really get into black metal when it's done in this vein. A lot of black metal, some of my favorite black metal music. So makes sense that I would enjoy this. But yeah, I really liked it. Uh, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, again, their first two EPs are really, really good too. So if you're able to listen to those and pick those up, I would highly recommend them. Um, they just, they've been pumping out a lot of music. And I was reading that they have a lot of music written. Uh, so yeah, uh, the main guy, I cannot pronounce his name, who does the guitar leads and most of the, uh, like writing of the, of the music is, is phenomenal. Uh, I like, I like what's in his, his creativity bank, as I like to call it. Uh, so I'm excited to see what this band continues on with. Um, so yeah, that's all that I had today. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Uh, next week, more videos will be coming. So I'll see you guys in the next one.